Welcome. Here's a lovely little curiosity. Suppose I took a pair of die and asked, what's the probability of rolling a seven, the probability of getting a seven, sum of two numbers on a pair of die, or the probability of rolling a three or something? Um, we can work these out. In fact, you might work it out as follows. We could just actually draw a diagram of a table of values. So that here's all the possible uh, rolls of one die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the possible rolls of a second die. Two, four, five, six. And here's the possible sums. One plus one makes two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three plus six is nine, yep. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And seven, eight, nine, ten. Six and five is eleven. Six and six is twelve. Here's all the possible sums. And we now see that the probability of rolling a seven is I've got one, two, three, four, five, six options out of 36. Six out of 36. Probably rolling a three, I've got two options out of 36, two out of 36, and so on. I can work out the probabilities of getting each particular table. Great. So there's the distribu distribution, probability distribution for a sum on a pair of die. Actually, I've got a lot of questions about this, and it uh, might be worth looking at my Probability and Stats book, Volume 8. This appears in the very first chapter. Um, there's some subtle issues behind what, what's really going on here, but that's not for the point today. What I'd like to talk about today, however, is a discovery that a colonel made by the name of George Zickman just a few decades ago, that actually these ordinary dice, yes, they certainly yield some table like this, need not be the ones you didn't have to use in um, a particular game. He said, Suppose you number the die instead the following manner. Give one die, whoops, I need my pen, the uh, numerals on its six faces. One, two, repeat the number two, three, three, and four. And on the other die, give the numbers one, three, four, five, six, and eight. Weird. Uh, let's look at the sums you get from these strange Zickerman dice. Uh, one plus one is two. One plus two is three, three, four, four, and five. Uh, four, five, five, six, six, and seven. Let's see, this is five, six, six, seven, seven, and four plus four is eight. Uh, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, and nine. Uh, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, and ten. And nine, uh, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, and twelve. So with a pair of Zickerman dice, we can ask, what's the probability of rolling a seven? Well, again, there are 36 possible outcomes here, and of which one, two, three, four, five, six. The chance of rolling a seven Zickerman dice is six out of 36. The chance of rolling a three out of Zickerman dice, where are the threes? One, two, that's it, is two out of 36. In fact, the Zickerman dice, probably rolling a five, let's see, one, two, three, uh, is that it? Up oh, four, four ways to roll a die, five with Zickerman dice, and one, two, three, four is four out of 36. In fact, Zickerman dice, two dice renumbered this way, give the same probabilities as ordinary dice. Which is interesting, because now I wonder, what's it like to play Monopoly with Zickerman dice? And it might, you know, in some sense you might say it's exactly the same, with the chances of rolling a seven or a three or a 12 or a nine are exactly the same. The game should be the same. But maybe, maybe, there's an issue of doubles. In doubles, in Monopoly, if you roll doubles, you get to go again. So maybe the doubles issues makes, makes Monopoly different with the Zickerman. All right, so I've got two challenges for you. Um, one challenge is very hard, um, and I'll sort of give away the answer in the challenges. If you're going to stick with positive whole numbers, strictly positive numbers, prove that these two sets of numberings are it. These are the only pairs of numberings of dice they give the same probability distribution as ordinary dice. In that sense, prove that Zickerman dice are unique. If you allow yourself to go to negative numbers, you can actually come up with other orderings as well. But there's only one answer with um, positive integers. See if you can prove that. And for a less of a juicy challenge that involves some deep mathematics, instead of playing with dice, which are six-sided cubes, you could play with tetrahedral die. That is, these are four-faced die, so they look like little triangular pyramids. Let me draw one. So ordinary tetrahedral die have the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the second one would also have the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. By the way, how you read them, if you actually roll these things, you look at the, the number that's landed face down. So, you know, if the 3 is on the bottom facing the table, 
then you say the roll of this die is three. So here's an ordinary pair of Zichman dice, uh, ordinary pair of tetrahedral dice, what I'm saying, sorry. My challenge to you is find the equivalent pair, a different ordering of the faces of tetrahedral die that turn it to be equivalent, or write a little bit, a three equal sign means equivalent as ordinary tetrahedral die. Can you do it? And then I guess the other question is, if you come up with an answer of positive integers, can you prove that answer is unique? Is it unique in this case? Anyhow, Zichman dice. Oh, while I'm at it, there's Vermont's third challenge. Um, what if you rolled three die? Three sets of ordinary die. Do, 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 do. Um, can you come up with a pair of Zichman, a triple of Zichman die that behave the same way as a triple of ordinary die? Uh, by the way, I drew three dots here and four dots on its neighboring face. Um, look at a pair of die. That doesn't happen. Anyhow, I'm getting full of distractions today. There it is, Zichman dice. You got to love them, and I love the fact that it was a, a colonel, Colonel George Zichman, who was playing around with mathematics just for fun and came up with this wonderful set of die. Absolutely brilliant.